everyone. I am going to be reading to you today Kipper's Toy Box by Mick Ink Pen. Okay. Um, oh, there's a blurb which I love. So let's have a look at the blurb. Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's Toy Box. Ooh, someone or something. What do you predict it could be? Hmm, let's find out. Okay, Kipper's Toy Box. Kipper's Toy Box by Mick Inkpen. Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's Toy Box. I hope my toys are safe, said Kipper. He emptied them out and counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's wrong, he said. There should only be six. Kipper continued, oh, I made a mistake. Kipper counted his toys again. This time, he lined them up to make it easier. Big Owl one, Hippopotamus two, Sock Thing three, Slipper four, Rabbit five, Mr. Snake six. That's better, he said. Kipper put his toys back in the toy box. Then he counted them one more time just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight noses. That's way too many noses, said Kipper. Hmm, what do you think's happening? Kipper grabbed Big Owl and threw him out of the toy box. One, he said crossly. Out went Hippopotamus, two. Out went Rabbit, three. Out went Snake, four. Out went out went Slipper five, but where was six? Where was the sock thing? Okay, and I'll just show you where the sock thing is. Hmm, suspicious. Kipper was upset. Next to Rabbit, sock thing was his favorite. Now he was gone. I won't lose any more of you, said Kipper. He picked up the rest of his toys and put them in his basket. Then he climbed in and kept watch until bedtime. That night, Kipper was woken by a strange noise. It was coming from the corner of the room. Kipper turned on the light. There, wriggling across the floor, was Sock Thing. It must have been Sock Thing who had been eating his toy box. Kipper was not sure what to do. None of his toys had ever come to life before. He jumped back in his basket and hid behind Big Owl. Hmm, have any of your toys come to life before? Sock Thing wriggled slowly round in a circle and bumped into the basket. Then he began to wriggle back the way he had come. He did not seem to know where he was going. Kipper followed. Quickly, Kipper grabbed him by the nose. Sock thing squeaked and wriggled harder. Then a little tail appeared, a little pink tail, and a little voice said, don't hurt him. So it was you. And we can see there needs to be a lot of emphasis on you. It's in capital letters. So it was you. Have you been making the hole in my toy box? Said Kipper. It was true. The mice had been nibbling pieces of Kipper's toy box to make their nest. You must promise not to dip, nibble it again, said Kipper. We promise, said the mice. In return, Kipper let the mice share his basket. It was much cosier than a nest made of cardboard and the two little mice never nibbled Kipper's toy box again. But their babies did. They nibbled everything. And hopefully everyone can see the cute little babies. And that's the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.